Hey folks, uh, this lesson is surface area of spheres. This is our fourth uh, lesson in, in module three of integrated math three. I should have put that there, integrated math three. There's our, our, our question. So how can we find the surface area of spheres and other solids? So, so surface area of spheres. Okay, so uh, there's our formula, 4 pi r squared. You guys know what a sphere is, and so there's our radius. Sometimes they'll give you the diameter, so you got to take half of it, okay? Now, um, you have a handful of these in your assignment today, uh, but we're going to jump right to um, uh, an application problem here. So a, a basketball is a sphere that has 29.5 inches in circumference, so that's... Um, uh, the um, and they call it the great circle, the biggest circle that goes around the outside. Okay, so a baseball is a sphere that has circumference of um, 9.0 inches. How much material is needed to make each ball? And then after we do that, it says, how does the ratio of these amounts compare to the ratio of the circumferences? So here's the circumferences up here. The ratio of the circumferences are 29.5 to over 9.0. Ratio is code word fraction, okay? So we need to uh, find out uh, the surface area of, of each because uh, it says how much material is needed to make each ball. That's a surface area question, okay? So let's find the surface or find the radius of, of each ball. So circumference is 2 pi r, okay? So we'll set 2 pi r equal to each of these circumferences right here. We'll come back to the other question right here. Okay, we're solving for r. We need to find the r so we can use our formula. Surface area is 4 pi r squared. Now we need this r. So let's divide both sides by 2 pi. And I'm going to do these two problems simultaneously. And then use a calculator. And so we get about uh, 4.695 is the radius of the basketball and about 1.432. All right, now let's find the surface area of both, OK? So now we're going to use 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi r squared. Now just make sure that you square it first. And then multiply it by 4 and then times 3.14. Same here. Square this number first. Remember, order of operations, you have to do exponents first. Then times 4, then times uh, 3.14. So there's the approximate um, surface area of the basketball and of the, the baseball. Okay, let's answer that second question now. So the second question says, how does the ratio of these amounts... Uh, the ratio of this amount over this amount, so fraction this number over this number, compared to the ratio of this number over this number. Okay, so let's check that out. So the ratio of the material is going to be that. And then if we get a decimal on that, we, we get that value right there. Let's check out the ratio of uh, the basketball or the baseballs right there. Okay, do you see any kind of relationship right here? Can you see that? Maybe if we square this number, you know, I know 3 squared is, is 9, so a little bit more than 3 squared, which is this number, is going to be a little bit more than 9, which looks close to that. So remember, we rounded way back here, so if we get something pretty close, it's called round-off error. So when we square that, uh, let's go ahead and square um, uh, that the square of the circumferences. Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, it should be a 3 in there. Uh, right here. I saw where'd that two come from? That should be a three. I gotta fix this before I teach it anyway. So, all right. So um, uh, that three right there, three point two seven seven squared, ends up being about uh, ten point seven four three. Look at the relationship of those. They're really close to each other right there. Can you see how close those numbers are right there? So here's our answer right here. Let me just fix that while right we're doing that. Okay, so our answer is this, you guys. Um, uh, the ratio of the material is going to be the uh, the square of the ratio of the of the circumferences right there. Okay, and so uh, what they what the, if you don't recognize it, you guys is um, uh, remember the formula is four pi r squared. This is circumference is just two pi r, and then this one's four pi r squared. So uh, area is always square unit, so um, circumference is not square units, it's linear units. So anyway, so they wanted you to recognize it was it was being squared. So find the surface area of the composite figure. Okay, I'm, uh, here's one right here, okay? So I'm seeing a hemisphere right here, which is half of a sphere. So 4 pi r squared, when we take half of it, it's going to be 2 pi r squared. Remember, the surface area of a sphere. Then we'll add the lateral area of the cylinder, and then we'll add this circle right there, okay? So 
So it's the hemisphere. Hemisphere is half of a sphere plus the lateral area of the cylinder plus the area of the circle right there. Here's the hemisphere. Okay, so we do that and we've got to square five first and then multiply it times four and then divide by two. So the hemisphere is 50 pi centimeters squared. All right, so the lateral area, remember, um, the lateral area is circumference times the height. Okay, from our lesson before, so so 2 pi r is circumference times the height, so we plug that in and we get 140 pi, and then the area of a circle is pi r squared, so 25 pi, so the total surface area is the sum of those, so 215 uh, pi centimeters squared. Okay, let's try one more here, what should, oops, I'm sorry, which is about 675.4 centimeters squared. Okay, so here I see a half a, a hemisphere on this side, another hemisphere on this side, so when we put them together, it's a whole sphere, so 4 pi r squared, and then we'll add the lateral area of the cylinder, okay? So uh, uh, this, is, uh, this one is two hemispheres, or one whole sphere, plus the lateral area of the cylinder. Okay, so we plug that in, we get that, and just make sure you crank it out correctly, and we get 104 pi inches squared, all right? Which is about that in decimal. Okay, if you are in my class, I'm going to assign you that. Take care.